All right. In this segment, I'm going to explain our misstroked dictionary to you. You know, all of us over the years, uh, when we find ourselves misstroking similar things, we've gotten in the habit of putting all of those misstrokes into our personal dictionary. And it can really increase the size of your dictionary. And especially if you have a problem of dragging and dropping certain keys. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take us into our real-time area for a moment. And we're going to go to Preferences. Down here under Preferences, you'll notice Drag and Drop. And I'm going to click on the Details button to show you what I have. Over the years, especially as I'm getting older, as much as I hate to admit it, <laughs> I've start, started to drag and drop a couple of these keys. My biggest problem is my dragging of my final G key. And then there's really no rhyme or reason for me. Sometimes I will drag and drop the T or drag and drop the L, but I do it with enough frequency that I wanted to add it here. And actually, if you need to set this up, just as a review, let's say you drag your, you drag, so you click here, or if you drop it, you click here, um, your final B, it will add it to the list. Um, if you want to remove it from the list, then all you need to do is select the appropriate button and click on it again, and it will remove it. Once you have set up the keys that you drag and drop, frequently and you want to always put them in the order in which you do it. Since this is my most frequent thing, I've put it first on my list, followed by the T and followed by my L. Um, I tend to drag my T more so than I drop it and I tend to drop my L more so than I drag it. So I've put them in that priority. What happens is, and we're going to back out of here now. You can click OK if you've set something, something here. And I'm going to close this. And I'm going to go back into my editor. And I want to show you what happens to the word maintenance for me. Let's pretend for a minute that this was an untranslated word and I just globaled it. Now, You'll notice I have add misstrokes checked here. I want to show you what I have when I click this down arrow. The system has automatically created three other ways I could have written this word from my machine, realizing my drag and drop issue. <laughs> Over here, if you look, the way I write maintenance is maintenance. What it did here was it added an L to my first stroke because it knows I could drag that L in if appropriate. In this one, I have maint and now it's added a T because it knows that I could drag my T in. And in this one, maint, it added an L because again, it knows I could drag my L in. What happens here, and you don't have to look at this list, just know that every time you global a word and the correct word has been attached now to all of these three strokes, every time you global a word, it's going to create other words for you based on what you have in your drag and drop area and it's going to automatically put these words into, and I'm going to go to my dictionary area here, and we're going to scroll down, or actually I'm just going to hit the M on my keyboard. And if I look at my misstroke dictionary, these are all the things that the system over time has added for me. Now, you won't see this misstroke dictionary 
unless you have added letters to your drag and drop area. Once you do that and you start globaling, it automatically creates this misstroke dictionary. Okay? And these words that are in this dictionary right now, you never, when you translate or if you're doing real time, you never, and I'm emphasizing never, have to select the misstroke dictionary. How it works is, as you are doing real time or as it's training, if this particular misstroke is not in your personal dictionary, it immediately will look to the misstroke dictionary. If it finds the word, it's going to translate it correctly. This is going to cut down on you having to add a lot of misstroked words to your personal dictionary. You never have to select this dictionary in conjunction with doing real time or anything else. So, if you want to use the misstroke dictionary, which I highly recommend, you now know how to set it up. Thank you very much, and that concludes the setting up of your Mistroke Dictionary.